Well, the verdict is in, and Thomas Bocamp, accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a Lubbock teenage girl back in 2020, has been found guilty. It took the jury about an hour. Our Laura Law has been inside the courtroom following this case all week, and she joins us now to look at what happened today. Lauren Bocamp was found guilty on all 16 charges, including cyber stalking, transportation and travel with a minor for sexual conduct and production of child pornography. When the verdict was read, he kept a stern face, not showing much emotion and looked at the jury. He was taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs and some of his family members in the court broke down in tears. Today started with a final witness from the U.S. Attorney's Office, a forensic interviewer from the Children's Advocacy Center who talked about grooming. Then it was Bocamp's turn for witnesses, first calling an FBI agent. Bocamp was also originally set to testify on his own behalf, but when the judge required him to ask himself and then answer his own questions on the stand, Bocamp refused. He told the judge that the format would make him look, quote, schizophrenic. In closing arguments, the U.S. Attorney made a case that there was overwhelming evidence that proved Bocamp's guilt, including countless abusive and threatening messages to the teenage girl and a note they found on Bocamp's phone just days after they met, listing her vulnerabilities. They said he had no right to have a sexual relationship with a 13 or 14 year old child. The law makes it clear that a minor cannot consent and therefore the minor's willingness is irrelevant. They called his actions, quote, evil and heinous. In his closing statement, Bocamp emphasized he loved the teenage girl and she loved him, and he's still willing to die for her. He called the trial humiliating for both of them, and he refuted that he groomed her and enticed her and said saying she was the one who sought him out. He claimed all the witnesses had been coached against him, and his chat messages to the girl appeared abusive because he was playing a role. He even said, quote, I wish I could take my brain and plug it in, end quote, so that the jury could see how things happened from his perspective. After the verdict was read, the judge made a point to say Bocamp was by far the, quote, best prepared and smartest self-represented person he'd seen. Going forward, Bocamp told the judge he's waiving his right to represent himself and wants his court-appointed public defender to take over. Bocamp will be sentenced at a later date.